Hello everyone, this is Iran Talk and in this video I'd like to take a look at the genetic origins of the ancient Iranians from Central Asia using QPADM. The primary objective of this video will be to prove that the ancient Iron Age Iranians from Central Asia actually had significant BMAC ancestry and this will be proven using QPADM. The BMAC element here will be assessed using the Bustan Bronze Age samples. Before I move on, I'd just like to thank my good friend Azad Mard for his contributions to this field of research and he's actually released a lot of groundbreaking uh, evidence for the ethnogenesis of the early Iranians on his channel on YouTube as well as his uh, Instagram page. So yeah, I've linked both of them in the description of this video so please take a look at them when you get a chance to. So before I move on to the analysis, here is a reference snippet from Wikipedia and it states a recent genetic study authored by Perle Guarino Vignan et al. published in 2022 confirms the admixture between local BMAC groups and Andronovo related populations at the end of the Ox civilization. And this paper considers current Yagnobi people who live near Zarafshan River, Tajikistan, are direct descendants from Andronovo like people which took over BMAC around 1800 to 1500 BCE. So, this is an interesting take and it highlights the ethnogenesis of the Aryans in Central Asia, which is interesting. So, I will be uh, initially discussing G25 results from Wahidu, then I'll transition into QPADM results, and I'll also discuss the impact of the Aryans on the modern day populations of uh, Central Asia, such, uh, such as Tajik groups. So, sorry about that. So before I get into the breakdowns, here is a snippet from Jason Reza Giorgiani's 2019 book Iranian Leviathan and in it he put forth the bold claim that the Aryans who migrated around bypassed BMAC from a point west of it known as Hyrcania and were not hybridized with the native Iranian farmers of Central Asia but my analysis here will refute this claim so do keep that in mind and do look forward to that. So here we have the breakdowns for the Aryans using uh, the G25. So they're on average 48.5% Androno, 34.8% BMAC, 5.5% East Aryan, 1.4% Ancient and Iswali, 3.5% Levant, PPNB, and 6.3% Western Siberian Hunter Gatherer. So what these results suggest is that the ancient Aryans were largely descended from an Androno source. Despite this, they were heavily BMACized and had significant BMAC ancestry, which is quite interesting and remarkable. So overall, these results refute the ludicrous claims made by Jason Raza Georgiani. So yeah, that's essentially it for this phase of the video. The next phase of the video will be taking a look at the genetic origins of the ancient Iron Age Iranian groups from Central Asia and proving that they actually had significant BMAC ancestry. So here we have the breakdowns for the early Iranians from Yaz. So you can see they're on average 51.3% Andrino and 48.7% BMAC, which is quite interesting and remarkable. So what these results indicate is that on a genetic level, the early Iranians were mostly of Andrino descent, despite this hour, they had significant BMAC ancestry at 48.7%. And these BMAC farmers were mostly of Iran Neolithic descent with minimal foreign ancestry. So they were around 70% Iran Neolithic, 50 to 70% Iran Neolithic. So you can see that the BMAC peoples had a heavy influence on the early ethnogenesis and synthesis of the Iranians which is quite interesting and remarkable. And you can also see that this is a passing model as you can see that the p-value is at 1.4.1 subtracted by 1 which is interesting. So what this shows is that the Aryans, the early Iranians had significant BMAC influences. So moving on you have the Sakas. So these are uh, Saka outlier sample. So you can see it's on average 45.5% Andrino, 52.4% BMAC and 2.03% East Asian. And again, the fit is excellent. So this sample is very much Aryan. And again, you can see heavy BMAC ancestry. And actually the BMAC component here exceeds the Andrino component, which is quite interesting and remarkable. So this analysis again, supports the idea that there was a heavy synthesis between the incoming proto-Indo-Iranians and the native Iranian farmers of the BMAC culture. So up next, the next sample I'd like to take a look at is one of the Aryans from China. So this should be interesting. So as you can see that again, the BMAC ancestry is heavy at around 30 
sorry at around 63.2 percent despite this it is around 33.1 percent annual and only 3.7 percent eastern and again it's a passing value so what this means is that genetically the western areas from china were mostly of bmac descent which is quite interesting and remarkable and this could actually even be an early persian so i reckon that the ancient persians who lived in iran during the ancient period were more likely similar to this sample which is quite interesting in fact, this sample is likely reflective of the genome of the ancient Persians. Furthermore, you could also consider that the Medians were also likely very close to this sample. So up next, the next sample I'd like to take a look at here are the Kongju people. So these are Sogdians. So you can see they're on average 56.1% Andronovo, 36.1% BMAC and 7.74% East Asian. So again, you can see heavy Andronovo and BMAC ancestry, again highlighting the synthesis between the incoming Proto-Indo-Iranian and the native Iranian farmers of the BMAC culture. And you can see a bit of East Asian ancestry as well and the standard errors are low as well and the fit is excellent. So again, this analysis on the Kongju refutes the claims made by Georgiani and Plu proves that there was indeed a heavy synthesis between the incoming Proto-Indo-Europeans or Proto-Indo-Iranians and the native Iranian farmers of the Bima culture. So up next, we have the Kangju outliers. So you can see they're on average 46.8% Andronovo, 44.8% derived from a BMAC source and only 8.36% East Asian. So what's critical here is that the Kazakhstan Turk Kangju outlier sample is again a BMACized Iranian and you can see heavy BMACized Iranian ancestry with a bit of East Asian which again is quite interesting and remarkable. So what this means is that on a genetic level these uh, outlier samples from Central Asia from Kazakhstan again had heavy BMAC synthesis so this is likely an Iranian among the Turks so while this may be an outlier for the Turkic groups it's nonetheless evident of an Iranian profile and likely represents the profile of the ancient Aryans which is quite interesting and remarkable. So moving on from that the next population sample set taking a look at here are the uh, Ala Nura outliers. So this has a bit more East Asian ancestry. Nonetheless, you can again see the fit is excellent and it's around 48.6% Androno, 34.1% BMAC and 17.2% derived from an East Asian source. So again, you can see most of their ancestry is again BMACized and the East Asian is elevated here. Nonetheless, it still represents a largely BMACized population. So what this proves is that genetically, as during the ancient period, Central Asia was mostly inhabited by Iranians and Iranic speakers and the Turks came later and even the most Turkic areas of Central Asia today such as Kyrgyzstan at the time had very limited East Asian ancestry meaning that even to Kyrgyzstan the Turks are recent migrants which is interesting. So the final sample being taken a look at here comes from a much later phase in the history of uh, Central Asia, the Kushan period. So you can see this Tajikistan Kushan sample is on average 30.6% Andrano, 65.3% BMAC and 4.10% East Asian. So critically what this means is that the Tajikistan Kushans were mostly derived from a BMACized Iranic population with minimal East Asian ancestry and again this promotes the theory and proves the theory that that there was a hybridization between the incoming Proto-Indo-Iranian and the native Iranian farmers of the BMAC culture. These results on this Kushan sample again prove Georgiani wrong which is quite interesting. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my part on the genetic origins of the ancient Aryans from Central Asia in light of their BMAC ancestry. The next part of this video will take a look at BMAC and Renault as well as East Asian and perhaps even South Asian ancestry in modern day Tajik populations. So please look forward to this part of the analysis. So here we have the results for the Shogunan Tajik. So keep in mind that these are isolated Tajik. So you can see they're on average 46.0% Arnono, 47.8% BMAC and 6.20% Slab Grave or East Asian. Critically, what this means is that some Tajik groups which have managed to maintain their isolation are largely genetically akin to the ancient Aryans from Central Asia. Unfortunately, these isolated Chugnani Tajiks were the only samples for which I could get a passing model. So yeah, but I think these are very much reflective of the ancient Aryan population of Central Asia. So yeah, overall this video took a look at the genetic origins of the Aryans in light of their BMAC ancestry which is quite interesting and remarkable and what this proves is that the ancient Aryans did indeed have significant BMAC ancestry in contrast to the claims made by Jason Rosa Giordani and QPADM was used here to refute his claims. So this is a major blow to the ludicrous 
claims made by Jason Radha Jujani and his lunacy, so do keep that in mind. So I ask all of you to share this video among your friends and circulate it among nationalist circles and hopefully Jojani gets to see it as well and hopefully he can change his mind but I highly doubt it. So yeah that's essentially it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.